Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi hello, my name is Loie and in case you were wondering why that's not a two-handed intro, I have my little Mr. Walty on my lap and he has a whole arm to himself. If you've been following my social media, you already know who Walter is, but in case you need some catching up, I am currently at my mom's house. Walter is a two-year-old cat. He is a family pet who we all love dearly. Uh, and he was diagnosed with FIP very recently. Um, although it's not even technically something you can diagnose, it's just something that vets kind of have to guess on, it's a whole thing. Uh, he's currently in a recovery program and has been eating like a monster, recovering like a champ, uh, and so I am here several days a week on Walter duty, hence the background, and hence cat food, heated blanket on the bed, open door so he can go to his litter box, etc. Now my next two videos essentially are going to both be TikTok based. I feel like we are back in this stage and sometimes I kind of go through phases with TikTok where I'll feel like everything that comes off the platform is really fascinating, really creepy, and then I won't see anything for a while and I think that it's probably better that his, his claws are in my leggings. I think it's probably better that way. If it was creepy and weird and there were just stories all the time, they probably wouldn't be as interesting and it would be like super oversaturated with content. But today's video and then Sunday's video are both really, really fascinating uh, TikTok story, like stuff straight from the TikTok app that are really current that you can follow right now that have me super unnerved, especially today's video because there's still no explanation from it. Now the TikTok mystery, the case in question for today is really, fascinating and weirdly heavy uh given kind of like the lack of information that we have but i'm hoping along with you guys that maybe we can kind of get to the bottom of this together because i haven't seen a lot of other people talk about this and um, i'm looking at the name right now it's lord ver v-i-r-r -R. and this is basically a case of what seems to be religious cult stalking a tiktoker and let me explain. Now we open up just swinging with the very first video from this account. Essentially, the poster returns to their home after work one day and they live in a fairly cold climate. There's still snow uh, all over the ground. And somebody had snuck into their yard while they were at work, while their partner was also not home, and created a snow sculpture in the yard. Now when I first looked at this, it almost looked to me like cat ears on top of like just a, a an opening. And then the more I stared at it, the more I realized it was supposed to be almost like a mouth. Like the two kind of like creepy eyes at the top and then this wide open mouth at the bottom. In the next video, the poster responds to a comment on his previous video saying, is that a second sculpture behind the first? And he shows in this video that yes, there is not just one of these, there is a second one. This one much easier to kind of um, see than the first in terms of like the, the features of it. It's a very creepy smiley face. Now it's at this point that we get our first reference, our first mention of the snow killer. Supposedly, according to this commenter, uh, Hominade, it's not funny, it's actually really freaking weird. They make snowmen in the victim, the 2B victim's yard, and they paint it in red paint to mark future prey. Really, really freaking weird. Okay, I don't know if this is true, but uh, I've been at work all day, and then I got home and I, I went for a run, uh, and I'm kind of freaked out because um, this, I, I think, is just spray paint, but it was getting kind of dull because it was old, but it looks like fresh again, uh, and what is this? I didn't notice this before. I don't know if it was there. I think it's new. I think somebody's been here again. And, uh, oh yeah, um, does it matter that it's a full moon? I don't know, I'm really scared to touch this. You guys really have me freaked out. An immediate Google search turns up no evidence of a snow killer under that specific name. Um, and I couldn't really find anything about this, but it might be something that's lesser known. There's also a horror book written called The Snow Killer. So I don't know if it could have been from that fictional work, but either way, our poster makes another video and he's 
pretty freaked out by this newfound revelation. And he shows us a third snow creature thing in the yard this time with a symbol of sorts. I take that back. Actually, it was on the back of one of the original snowmen that was in the yard, the one with the creepy face, but the poster says that he can tell that the paint, the substance, the red liquid on the snow, it's new and it hasn't deteriorated in the same way that the other snow has. He also notes that it is a full moon on the night that he is recording this specific video. I'm not really sure what commenters were saying to convince him of this, but in the following video, he proves to himself that this is not a portal or a gate that someone has put in his yard. And this was probably just to calm himself after getting comments about it, or maybe it was something that he had come up with on his own. Either way, in this video, he kind of like sticks his hand through the opening of the one statue with the giant open mouth that kind of looks like a frog the longer I stare at it. Anyway, he puts his hand through it, he touches it, nothing happens. But a commenter replies, uh, I simp for Alistair. Uh, they say, based on what I know, you might have just summoned a demon, an evil spirit, or some other harmful being. Maybe you can try to cleanse these with sage. Okay, so it's been a few hours since I put my hand through the, the portal or whatever. And I don't really believe that it's anything, but uh, I just got a call from my girlfriend and she had to um, take herself to the emergency room. And I'm sure it's just a coincidence, but she said that she's having chest pain since I left, uh, which would have been a couple hours after I posted my last video. Um, I'm sure that she's okay, and I'm sure that it's a coincidence, but, uh, I am, I am a little freaked out, honestly, and, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's after this point that he shows his girlfriend at home safe in bed after this experience and follows up with the hospital bracelets uh, to like prove that this event truly happened. I don't necessarily know that anyone was uh, poking holes in that story and it's super sad if they were over somebody going to the ER. However, take special notice here of the red bracelet behind the white bracelet, like the one with all of his girlfriend's information that he's crossed out. Some commenters believe this is the same shape in the doctor's like signature or whatever it was on that bracelet uh, that was on the like one snow sculpture that had been marked with that sigil looking kind of thing. In the following video, we come to kind of a breaking point for our poster and his partner uh, in which they realize that it's time to get law enforcement involved. Because when our poster comes outside, he sees fresh prints in the snow, like footsteps uh, leading kind of off to an alleyway of sorts right next to his house away from the other sculptures. Here we find a small version of the portal type sculpture that we saw in the beginning, as well as the letters I, F, I, M, and then another little like smiley face cone looking sculpture. Our poster says we are scared of being at our own house. What is this message even? And I'm with him. What does I, F, I, M mean? Like, we haven't had any letters, any anything like that so far, and suddenly we have I F I M. What does that mean? If I'm, if I'm what? <laughs> if I'm in the snow? He leaves an update in the comments saying, update, the police have been contacted and we believe that we are safe. I'll post a video with more details tomorrow, probably. And then there was a follow-up saying, TikTok won't let me upload the video uh, of me breaking the snowman because it looks violent or something, which can vouch that there are uh, terms and conditions with like violence and Stuff like that is very bizarre, but the authorities have assured us that we are not in legitimate danger, though they didn't know what to make of the snowmen and the paint. Honestly, they didn't really take us too seriously, I felt. Advised us to destroy the snowmen and to look out for suspicious activity, in quotes. Something still isn't quite right with me. I just want this to be over, lol. In this next very brief video, we see that they are setting up not only security cameras, but we also see footage of the like portals, the snow stuff uh, having been knocked down by the poster. Portal wrecked to protect against demons, he says. I think that this would take a toll on any of us. Like I think that any of us would kind of hit a breaking point with a situation where we're clearly not only being stalked, but there's nothing the police can do. There's no grounds to like press charges. There's no proof of any of this happening except for these mysterious figures appearing in our you know, lawn or driveway, whatever, uh, when we're not home. I can understand kind of feeling like 
sort of like just going crazy with the situation, you know? And our poster kind of hits that point. He says, I've grown to hate the sight of them in regards to the statues uh, in the yard. Now in this, they look very deteriorated. So maybe this was taken right before he had destroyed them. Um, and then he put this back up. If you look on the back of the one with the smiley face on the front, it almost looks like a baby now. It almost looks like a child sculpture. It's really, really, really freaking weird. And maybe I'm the only one who sees that, but you can see the little like eye and then the faded marks and the way it's settled is just really weird. And it seems that things are not quite over in this saga and whoever is paying them these visits uh, as often as they are, is not done with this family. Because our poster shows, LOL, okay, this is sus. Uh, he found footsteps in the backyard leading into the woods and then he shows that his running water looks like it has been like contaminated with dirt. It's coming out like a muddy brown and you can see it's coming out of the faucet like that. This isn't like a play of the light. This isn't, you know, some kind of like camera trick or anything. The water is coming out brown. He even writes here, did someone try to poison us or what? Which valid concern. One commenter said there's a dead body in the water tank. Go check. Uh, luckily nothing so serious um, but he does show here that he doesn't have a water tank but a well and when he went to go check out the well he noticed it was in fact tampered with so somebody has tried to do something to their water supply allegedly here. Um, he shows that the paint is stripped off of the bolts and if that's not bad enough there are fresh deep huge snow prints like this snow is so deep somebody actively took this path to like a mess with the water supply and the next kind of strange event um our poster says not trying to overreact it's definitely a coincidence but our oven spontaneously caught on fire last night somebody has been messing with your water your your well your water is coming out as though it is contaminated with some sort of substance, literally turning it a different color. And now your oven is catching on fire. I don't think anything is a coincidence. I think that it's totally valid to freak the hell out in this situation. Our poster ends this video by saying, kind of feeling scared of everybody lately. Don't know what to do as the oven is being hauled off in a truck. Our poster is running out of ways to comfort himself and I'm sure to comfort his partner that's not necessarily in the videos that often, but clearly lives at the house with him. And so he says in a following video, I've never been this scared in my entire life. I can't shake this feeling of constant dread. I pray that we will be protected. And then he, um, in like the remaining portions of the snow figures here, he takes large, like super big uh, crosses and puts them into the snow. Now the following video was what I was tagged in originally. And uh, it is why I ended up following the story and why for the first time in a long time, I don't know um, if I believe this one is fabricated or not because this really freaks me out. Her poster says security camera footage from last night. It only records when triggered by events. Why are these the only two events captured? Please pray for us. Now, what he's referring to here is that we see the, you know, the crosses in like the remaining stumps of the snow figures, snow portals, whatever. And then in the very next scene, in the very next scene, nothing in between, no motion detected, no kind of like gang of people in the yard, like doing this to the crosses, they are painted red and upside down in the snow. This gave me chills all over my body. It's super freaky to look at and it just felt like such a slap in the face to our poster who just wanted some kind of last ditch effort to protect himself. In the next video, however, it shows that he is still very resolved in this situation and still staying strong. Um, he says, not going to let anyone or anything make me scared of my own home. And I think you can really see here, you know, the crosses that they're spray painted red now with the same paint that was probably used on the snow and they have been stuck upside down almost in mockery of our poster's effort to protect himself. So he says, not gonna let anyone or anything make me scared of my own home. And he takes like a sledgehammer to the snow and just starts whacking it all down. And I was like, yeah, knock it down, knock it down. Oh, it was a shovel, not a sledgehammer. Well, 
same thing. And that's where we leave for now. There was a lot of footage with this one and I kind of wanted the story to sort of speak for itself, but if you want to watch it in its entirety along with videos I didn't show in this uh, video, you can check it out using the link down below. But for this story, I don't know that I think it's an ARG. I don't know that I think for the first time in so long, I just don't know. This guy is not really posting like normal content and are mixed with this. He genuinely seems very, very, very scared. And if it is an ARG, if it is like an alternate reality game or a viral scary story of sorts, um, it's truly fascinating and it's something I'm gonna be keeping up with. But then like what happens when the snow melts? Are they gonna make the figures out of dirt? I don't know, man, a dirt portal just, it doesn't do it for me in the same way. But for now, I really wanna know what you all think of this one. Let me know your thoughts down below. Did this freak you out? Do you think it's entirely staged? Do you think that this guy is in serious danger? Do you know anything about the snow killer cult, supposedly, that is being referenced by some of the commenters in these videos? If you do, make sure to let me know down below. You guys know I will be reading it all. I wanna say a very special thank you to my subscriber, Ducky, who is a member of this channel. If you want to join, and become a member of this channel, get cool perks like one extra video a month that is exclusive to members, more one-on-one -on -one time with me, so much more. You can actually become a member of this channel by just clicking that little join button. It should be somewhere around my name. And join the fam. We would love to have you. For now, I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want something extra to watch, I'm going to link a second channel video that I uploaded this week at the end screen here. If you don't know I have a gaming channel called Lowy Bug where I put Twitch highlights, gaming videos exclusive for that channel, and much more. So make sure to check it out if you're not quite sick of me yet. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I love you very, very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!